हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग एंड वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज सो इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ स्नो फ्लेक्स सर्टिफिकेशन प्रिपरेशन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी दी स्नो फ्लेक टूल्स एंड यूजर इंटरफेसेज टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर मोस्टली द स्नो साइट द स्नो फ्लेक यूजर इंटरफेस सो प्रीवियसली दे वर कम अप विद द क्लासिक यू आई एंड नाउ दे हैव द स्नो साइट एंड द क्लासिक यू आई विल बी डी कमीशन आफ्टर वन ईयर and uh, you will only have the access to the snow site okay so today's topic we are going to cover the snow site in this snow site we will be going to discuss the inter main interface worksheets page dashboard page data page snowflake marketplace activity pages admin help and support and user menu okay so whenever you come to this snow site whenever you log in you will come to this page there you can see all these options okay so now first let me go you on this profile tab so if you just click on the profile tab you will have the option to upload your video photo then you can update the name email now this is one part like default experience so currently it is showing as snow site but if you want to go to the classic console whenever you click on the url you can go to this classic ui you can change your language you can also set the multi factor authentication another part here you can see this switch role so you can change your role from this tab as well for your entire worksheet so you can use this account admin organization admin security admin and, and any any these rules and the you have the documentation link if you click here you will go to directly to the documentation page where you can go and check the documentation related to the snow site support you will directly go to the support page and sign out if you click here you will be signed out so this is the main interface where you are going to work now let's move to the worksheets so whenever you come here you can see this worksheet tab if you are not able to see any worksheet here just click here and create a new worksheet whenever you click on the worksheet you will come to this panel where the database and all you can browse from here and your multiple worksheets will be appear here this is our normal worksheet where you can you write your query you can run the query using this run button or from the command run or the control uh, enter button okay here you can see a new thing like you can see directly the execution part of this query so how much time this query took for the execution you can also see some uh, normal profiling of this data okay. the new feature is the share so you can share this data uh, this worksheet with anyone just get the link it is copy to your clipboard and you can just share this with anyone now let's move to the dashboard in the dashboard you can create some reports which you can present to others you can share with those with others so how to create a new tile in this one just click on the new add i am just picking any random table from the select star from this okay let me see what all the details are available here so customer name for example so i can just pick distinct customer name and just limit 5 okay whenever i can run i can test it it is showing and now i can go back okay so you can see this detail is available here okay i can just change the name of this tile as well okay rename the tile so here it is top 5 customer so this is just example okay not the actual part all right so you can see top 5 customer so whenever you open this dashboard you can see all these things okay if you click here it will update everything with the latest data and all okay now let's move to the data in the data you can see the database which all database you directly have the access or 
you received it from some marketplace private sharing is like you can get the data from others as well okay so the sharing feature of the uh, snowflake you can get it from here okay provider studio so this is the provider studio where you can provide your data to other consumers let's little bit deep down on the database side so on the database you can go to any database you can see the hierarchy like which all these two are the default the information schema and the public this is the schema i have created and in which also you can see all these default part the tables views stage pipe stream task function and procedure these previously functions and procedure were not not available but now they are also available okay you can see which all tables and all there if you click on it you can see the definition what all the privileges on the def, uh, on the tables columns the data preview you can see just select the warehouse and you can see the data and copy history if you did some copy from anywhere from s3 bucket or anything you will see the copy history for that table so this is to browse the data okay but if you want to query it you will not able to put this department into your worksheet for that you need to go to the worksheet and then you need to add it okay now let's move to the marketplace marketplace where you can see enormous any kind of data okay the data is free so suppose if i want to see some bitcoin data okay so you can see finance data alerts this bnb chain so this personal means they may charge you but this is free right you can you can use it just click on the get and that database this finance data altas will be open to you for your query so you can see in your data then databases just we need to refresh it so you can see finance data altas okay so which all tables are there these are tables you can see if you want to do some data preview that also you can do okay so this is how this marketplace work where you can find data or you can share data with uh, your your consumers and all now come to the activity part activity part where you can see your query history copy history and task history okay copy history when you copied data from files and all to your any table that history you can see here task history in snowflake we have some task means we can schedule our job to be performed that is called the task so this will show like last 7 days of history so if the job run in the last 7 days it will show you that here okay in query history query history is the same previously we were checking what we have run from our user or from other user so you can apply any kind of filter here sql text query id warehouse duration okay these all are the options available now move to the admin part in the admin part you can see the usage so if you see select any warehouse then you will see how that warehouse uses over the time okay warehouses you can create any new warehouse in this okay you can change the definition and you can assign uh, add the cluster and all resource monitor resource monitor where you can keep alerting mechanism for your uh, warehouse if it is used 80% so we can give some percentage suppose if my uh, warehouse uses more than 80% then it will alert me okay so on the account level we can do that or at particular warehouse level also we can do this kind of alerting so resource monitor just they will see how much resource you are utilizing and they will alert you if you are going beyond the set limit users and role you can create the users and roles here this is the tab for mainly used for the data ops or admin guys security where you can create some network security and all billing and term so this billing and term only available to the account admin it will not be available to any others contacts you can provide the contacts wherever any any security notification privacy notification or product notification at which email they will send the notification accounts yeah so now they have concept of organization in one organization you can have multiple accounts 
so you can add any account here you can just go and select that account and it will be charged as per the rate listed here okay then partner connect you will see all your partner listed here in this one so if i go in the business intelligence category these are the four main partners in ci cd these two are the main partners data integration these are the main partners so you need to remember few names here so that you can be able to answer the questions in the certification data science and all ultrax data robot security and governance okay now the last is the help and support in the help and support you can go to the uh, documentation so you can see all these foundation documents architecture credits you can go and learn about all these uh, topics here how you can load the data okay visualizing and share your data so this is related to the dashboard and uh, creating the reports on the dashboard last is the support where you can create the support case if you have some query on your uh, related to your snowflake your query or the usage side anything you have query you can raise any ticket here this is all the details you need to uh, remember for your certification but for particular uh, as a data engineer right you mostly will be work on these worksheets where you are just writing a query and sharing the query or the data with the consumers you will you will not be going to use the other features but you should be remember uh, what all this tab means the pages means and if you want to check anything where you can go and check it okay okay that's all for today thank you thank you for watching the video and subscribe like and share this video